Hello everyone and welcome back to another Mortal Kombat 11 tutorial video. In this video we are going to be focusing and talking about wake ups. Now waking up and which wake up option you need to use in which situation can be kind of tricky to figure out in this game. I've seen a lot of people in my comments and also in the comments of my MK streams talk about that they don't really understand uh, when to use which wake up option, when to delay wake up when to throw, when to roll. So we are going to be going over every option. Hopefully I can give you some tips on when to use each one and also give you some tips on how to counter each wake up option. So wake ups can be tricky. Again, there's a lot of options in this game. So again, it's not immediately obvious when each option is best used in which situation. All right. So I've picked these two characters, Jackie because she has really good mids and Scorpion because he has some of the best wake ups in the game, especially his up three. Now, how do you set up practicing wake ups? If you want to do this, you can do this mid screen or in the corner, it doesn't matter. You go into AI options, you go into get up mode on and you pick your poison. Go for spear slice, not spear slice. If I do a knockdown on Scorpion, he's gonna do his up three. You can test out what, what each wake up option is for each character this way. So that's how you set it up. Again, you can do it in the corner. I prefer to do practicing against wake ups or figuring out how to punish uh, the wake ups of characters mid screen because in the corner, uh, one of the options, which is backwards roll is not available. Although that one is probably the, the least used anyways. We'll get into those later. Right now, we need to talk about the two timings for getting up. Timings? I don't know. Basically, you can determine in this game how long you stay on the ground after a knockdown. And this is one of the most underused and also one of the best wake up options in the game. So many people do not use delayed get up. And I know it can be kind of tricky. The tutorial mentions delayed get up very briefly, so it's not immediately obvious. But what is it? So if I set Scorpion up to do a knockdown and then go for a 1-1-2 after. If I do nothing, that's a normal get up. As you can see, I'm getting up, takes a while. Uh, yeah, this is just a normal standard get up. If you have no meter available for any wake up option, this is one of the options available to you. Just a normal get up. Now, this normal getup is not the best thing in the world. The reason is, is because you open yourself up to meaty attacks. Now, meaty attacks, it's kind of a weird fighting game term, but basically a meaty is any attack that hits on the way of a character getting up. So as you can see, if I do nothing with Jackie, I get up with his 112, or I get hit by his 112 string. This attack is meaty because whatever I try to do, I try to mash 1-1 one, one out of it. I think I've, yeah, I didn't time it exactly correctly. Let me just do this. There we go. That's going to be much better. So if, a, you, if you do meaties correctly, whatever you do on get up, you can try mashing any button, you are going to get hit. And the same holds true for if I try to jump. Again, I think I... No, 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 it does work, it does work. As you can see, I'm trying to jump. Yeah, a correct meaty will hit no matter what your character does. So, generally, you want to avoid meaty attacks. How do you avoid them? You avoid them by using delayed get up. You do this by holding L2. As you can see, if I hold L2, Jackie will stay on the ground longer. By staying on the ground longer, uh the entire meaty attack sequence that Scorpion is doing whiffs. So if you meaty and you delay get up, you get this. As you can see, that is a full punish on Scorpion trying to meaty you. It works every single time. So again, when I say that uh, delayed get up is one of the most effective and least used get up options, I really do mean it. If you're having trouble with like a sub-zero knocking you down and then going for his 50-50s, 
same with Scorpion, if he's going for his overhead string or his low string, one of the better options, especially if your opponent knows how to counter your other wake up options, is to just stay on the ground a little bit longer. The opponent is gonna try doing his attack and then bam, full combo punish. Now I will say, because every character in this game has an invincible wake up attack, meaties are a little bit less good in this game than in a game like Street Fighter for example, but they are still an option. Also, so keep meaties in mind and keep delayed getups in mind as well. Alright, let's get into the other options. The meaties and the delayed getups are probably the most complicated out of these wake up options. So let's cover the other ones. The first one being the up two. Now the up two has its advantages, mainly because it is a launcher. You can do a full combo punish if you hit your opponent with an up two. So in that aspect, it would seem very useful. However, I would say that up twos are probably the most situational wake up option in this game. There are very few instances where I would truly recommend going for an up two, unless you're absolutely certain that your opponent is doing something like, well, I would say if your character has slower walk speed, uh, if he knocks you down and trying to get back, again, Jackie is not a good example, but characters with slower walk speed, if they try to kind of like do some mind games with walking out of your range and then punishing, you can hit them with the up two because most often up twos have longer reach, like gear assist, for example, is extremely good. However, that is a very, very tiny specific situation where I would recommend going for these. The reason I don't recommend it is because up twos have very short invincibility frames. If I screw up my timing, and again, what I'm doing here counts as a meaty attack as well. If I screw up my timing, I can get hit. But like, see, as you can see, even then, it's like very risky for the Scorpion player or the opponent. However, if you know your correct timings, you can beat up twos every single time. The general rule of thumb is to delay a little bit. So as you can see, I do the knockdown. I don't, I don't immediately go for the attack because if I do, I'm gonna get hit. And knock down, wait a little, and then go for the punish. And bam. My opponent just ate a 32% combo because he tried to wake up. That is gonna put the fear into the opponent, believe me. Now, of course, the other option, the up three, is not so easy. The up three is not easy because this thing is fully invincible. This get up attack, no matter how well I time my meaty, I'm going to get hit every single time. Same goes for if I try to go for a throw. Yeah. Up threes are probably the most used wake up option I see online. People love their up threes. And of course, why wouldn't they? I mean, it leaves your opponent standing, doesn't deal a lot of damage, but it's fully invincible. However, keep in mind, up threes have their counters as well. First counter is walking out of their range. I would generally recommend practicing uh, the range for each character's uh, kind of up three wake up option. Scorpions, the trade off with Scorpions is that it's safe on block. The disadvantage is that it has very short range. So something like this is very possible. A character like Shao Kahn he has an amazing up three in terms of reach, but the frame data on it is not so good. So it really comes down to character specific stuff. But certainly, and again, I'm using Jackie here as an example for this. If you are playing a character that has good forward advancing mids, you can very easily punish an opponent's up three. The other way you can punish an up three is by jumping. The jump works as well. Uh, it basically allows you to do the same thing. In the corner, jumping might be better. Yeah, as you can see, full combo. 
the thing about jumping though, uh, what's the best way to set this up? Uh, screw it, I'll just talk about it. The risk with jumping though is if your opponent does a normal get up and does an up two when you're trying to counter with the jump, you are going to most likely get hit. So the best option really to go for is to walk back and punish with a mid. I would say if you are getting hit by a lot of up threes, just consider this option. All right, let's move on to the movement options. We have get up forward roll and get up back roll. Get up back roll is, I would say, most likely the least used wake up option. Uh, makes sense. Yeah, it's not very good. Certain situations, I would recommend using uh, wake up rolls backwards. If you are playing a character who is perhaps more strong in the zoning department, so like a Cetrion, you get knocked down, it might be worth uh, rolling away to set up your zoning options if you don't want to stay in the opponent's face. However, get up backward rolls are vulnerable to chase downs. Again, and this comes down to characters. If your character has a good forward advancing mid, you can punish your opponent rolling backwards, but honestly, the likelihood of you seeing this online is very rare. People, I, I don't think I even remember uh, who has ever used this get up option on me. But again, if you're more of a zoning type character, like Kitana, Jade, Cetrion, I would say keep this, keep this option in mind. The forward roll is more interesting. The forward roll is designed to beat meaty attacks because this is gonna happen. He rolls straight through me. And of course, the thing about uh, doing this is it allows for a full combo punish. I think I was a little bit late on that, but still. If you time it correctly, bam. You just got a full combo punish on your opponent. Get up rolls, forward rolls can also be used to roll out of the corner, uh, switch positions with your opponent. So I would say this is a pretty strong wake up option. If you're getting hit by a lot of meaties, uh, aside from delay get up, consider this option. Just keep in mind, however, that this option has its weaknesses as well. One of the weaknesses is a jump kick. If your opponent has a very good jump kick, yeah, it's gonna auto correct and it's gonna hit you every single time. That was a, <laughs> that was a little bit of a weird interaction, but as you can see, it's going to hit every single time. Forward rolls are also weak to another thing, a well-timed throw. While this forward roll, and I guess the back roll as well, but know that I'm talking about both. While this thing is invincible, it is not throw invincible. So a well-timed throw, which apparently I cannot do, a well-timed throw will punish this every single time. So keep that in mind. If your opponent is doing a lot of these, aside from a jump kick punish, keep in mind that you can almost always throw a delayed get up and you have a lot of time to do this. Like the window on this is very, very lenient. Like your opponent will basically travel through you. Like see, Scorpion is almost like through me. He rolled through me and he still got hit by my throw. So that's probably one of the easier punishes to get. Okay, and finally we have the last option, which is the reversal throw. The reversal throw is best used against opponents who are respecting your wake up way too much. Maybe you've done a couple of up threes and you've hit people. Maybe you have gotten a couple of successful delayed get ups and you've gotten full combo punishes with your opponent. Your opponent is now going to be scared. He's going to be saying, fuck, this guy knows how to counter my meaties, he knows when to wake up. I'm gonna just knock him down and wait. I'm gonna knock him down and block. If he doesn't up to, I'll punish him. If he tries some shenanigan like delayed get up, I'll be in his face and he won't be able to do anything. That is when you have successfully conditioned your opponent and you can get away with a reversal throw. 
Throws are of course very good because they, if you're in the corner, you switch places with your opponent. And throws being in general very good in this game, you want to keep that option in mind. The other thing I would say to keep in mind is that you're not going to be able to just get uh, reversal throws for free. You, again, you do this towards the end of the match or the end of a longer set when you've really, again, conditioned your opponent to be scared because you are using all your options, your delayed get-ups, your up threes, your up twos, your four draws. Yeah, he's going to be scared and you're going to be able to get throws. Now, finally cover some of the more madman wake up options uh you always have waking up with buttons if i uh record scorpion doing something for example he screws up his meaty uh you can always go and punish your opponent like this again i would consider these to be madman wake up options as in if you're not absolutely certain that your opponent has done something stupid i would tend to avoid these so yeah Keep the standard wake-up options in mind. These are there in the game for a reason. They have their uses, they have their counters, but of course, waking up is a complete mind game. You have so many options, and part of it is guessing correctly. I'm not saying that this guide is a way to 100% always deal with every wake-up option for your opponent. It's just a way to deal with some of them, as in, if you... If your opponent becomes predictable, you'll be able to tell, uh, you're, you'll be able to know what to do against him. But again, it's not all comprehensive because there's so many options, it, it eventually just becomes a guess. So yeah, just keep that in mind. However, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, do all that. Always going to be pumping out these MK tutorials, really enjoy making them. So again, as always, let me know what else you would like to see gonna be starting with some character specific stuff later down the line for now thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this episode and i'll see all of you next time goodbye